Adako, what did she deliver off? I see. I see. I am King Zuru. I'm an indestructible man. Never in this life will I see a male child rise in my kingdom. Oh, I am Zuru. I remain the one and only male in my kingdom. No one succeeds me because I am here to live forever. To have eternal dominion over my women and territory, I share them with no one. Any male child delivered in my kingdom remains an evil that must be destroyed. So I give to you an evil seed from Mgorious womb, it is all yours. asking for the report of this war. It is obvious we are victorious again. Hey. The elephant and rat does not have any battle. Mancha. It is only a fool that will challenge his god to a battle. 
And for some of them that want to challenge our supremacy to war, it is only a suicide mission. <laughs> and we will continue to sting them like the bees sting those that love on earth. We remain the descendants of the gods and superior to all the kingdoms within our vicinity. Yes. Any one of them that challenge us is only taking a suicide mission, like I said. <laughs> oh, yeah. We will remain superior to them for eternity. Yes. yes. Welcome, my warriors. Ochiara, welcome once again. Let the celebration continue at the Ikenga the Great. <laughs> my prince. <laughs> Greetings, my prince. No, Ikenga. This time around, I should be doing the greeting. <laughs> yes. Ikenga, you deserve it. Thank you so much, my prince. Thank you. See, Ikenga, mm. I actually called you out this night to commend you for the victory you give to our people. <laughs> only you made it possible. <laughs> my prince, I was only doing my duty. <laughs> Ikenga, no. <laughs> Ikenga, you and I know that what you battled in that field is not what to do. A small man can do. You know. My prince. Ikenga, you and I know we are the reason why our kingdom stands tall above every other kingdom around us. Ikenga, I brought this wine, this special wine I kept for you and I to drink. Thank you so much, my prince. Thank you so much, my prince. Let us drink. <laughs> I'm so humble, my prince. <laughs> Let's drink. Thank you so Let's much. Drink. I'm sure this is from the Akrika, the greatest power in our kingdom. I swear. I can smell it <laughs> from a you distance. You can get the great. From a distance. And a zero game go. I Are you looking for Ikenga? Yes. Why did you ask? Uh, because I, I don't know where he is. But I'm sure he should be with the prince discussing one or two things. Why? Eh, I don't know why you. I don't know. Or maybe you should go there and find out what they're discussing. 
Yeah, but don't say I, I told you where he is. Just go and find out. It's all right. I've heard you. When they stand. How are you, my dear? Fine. How did you know I was here? <laughs> Eze told me. Eze, that boy that never keeps his mouth shut. Anyway, what kept you so long? Oh, Grim, I was studying on some things at home. I'm sorry. I hate of your victory. I'm so happy. <laughs> my dear, it doesn't call for celebration. Hmm? Victory over a money kingdom is like um, victory over a fly. <laughs> there are no match for us. <laughs> okay, you are the greatest. You are the greatest man on earth. In fact, what a lucky woman I am. I'm so proud of you. I can't pay for the cause for your safety. Come on. It's not right for us to pray to the gods to protect us over kingdoms that we are stronger than. I mean, you can see, we are very, very strong. <laughs> we do not need the prayers, the gods. <laughs> the many thing for you. What is it? Let me show you something. It's all right. <laughs> Is this you or your ghost? What are you talking about? You mean... All of you survived the night. What do you mean? Are you praying for us to die? Even you, Keti. You thought you survived too. Hey, if all of you survived the night, even me lay the end, lay come. How many casualties did we have then? Exactly. What are you saying? So does it mean that you want all of us dead? Exactly. That's no. not at all. Ask him. It's just that what happened last night was so 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 terrible. I was not expecting any of you to survive it. At least one or two. Of you should have, you know, died. So that I will have. Is it? Huh? Oh, did you take some power in this morning? Eh? You should even be happy that we survived last night, eh? Is it? So you want all of us dead? Is eh? it? Not... Wait, it's not that I want anybody dead. Meanwhile, please, have you people heard from the. Uh, uh, from Igwe and his family? The way I'm looking at that hut. I'm not sure any living soul is still in there. I know I'm going to let her come. Do you want all of us to die? I am asking you, Ezech. Do you want all of us to die? Um, uh, um, I, I. You are what? I, I, I. I I... Ezechi. My, my prince. Watch your tongue. You are a man, not a woman. Yes, my prince. You are a fool. Thank you, my prince. My pleasure. My prince. You know that is you. This is your mouth. Every time. Your mouth will kill you. Look at you. 
Luis. Ona nga tim na sa ulis ma ati putin i trombo kwa na biznes. Mishin wala klozi, wala klozi. Hey! Hey! Imana fabibwa, ala jijiji ya mwana. Anusilike, ahayyele. Na mwadu doma. There is nothing good about this money, my son. Nothing. Father. What could be the cause of this? How could I have known? I am sure we have not done anything wrong to offend the gods. I'm so sure of that. But even if we did, how could they have just struck us without warning? How could they? Anyway, I'll set for the chief priest. I'll set for him. As the eyes of the gods of this community, it should be here by now to give a better explanation for this. What is he wasting time for? I am surprised as you are my son, but there must be more to it as to why he is not here yet. I'm scared. Anyway, the important thing is that I've sent for him. Let us wait patiently till he comes. The chairs, I am sure, they are on their way coming. You don't have to, Father. <sighs> he has should be here. I've sent for him. Haru. Ah! Abomination! Something like this has never happened in the history of this land or any other place that I know of. Eh? Something is certainly behind this. Of course, something is behind this. Possibly the gods. Huh? Yes! They have decided to punish us for something we know nothing about. Why, why, why would the gods punish us? I wonder. Have we denied them their rights? But no. Have we not been giving them sacrifices and paying homage to them as I went to you? Have we not been ascribing our victories and battles to them? What exactly have we done wrong to deserve this? But Igwe, on a second thought, is it not possible that it is our enemies that are behind this? Our enemies? Yeah. How do you know? You, let us just think of it. No, 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 no. Our, our enemies can never strike us without the ghost of this land. Approve, approve of it. Whatever the thing was, never happened to the ghost of this land on our ways. They owe us serious explanation. Well, wait, wait, wait. Igwe, what about the Ezemo? What about Ezemo? Is he not supposed to be here by now? I have sent for him. He's, uh, he's, he's, he's welcome. Um, Let um, us just be patient. Uh huh. Is there more coming? Your Majesty, I was told he's out of the kingdom. Yeah. Out of uh, the kingdom. Who told you that? His wife, Your Majesty. She said he has been gone for two nights now. Hey! Oh, oh yeah. Oh. But Igwe, how, why would Yezemo leave the land without your notice? I wonder. I just wonder. Hey. Uh, anyway, I've heard you may rise and go. Hey, that's a What do we do now? Should we send for Kata the Great? Igwe better. Oh, oh Kata. That's quite a distance from here. Yes, of course. It might take him two nights to get here. Two nights? Yes, of course. We don't have any choice than to wait patiently. Wow. We will send for Akata. When they stand, all that's wrong. Nukole, is that you? Yes, of course. Why? You mean you survived the night? Why won't I survive the night? Did I do any evil to deserve one time in death? Partially. How do you mean partially, Ezechi? Is it what has come over you? Don't ever tell me this nonsense again. Please. 
I came to check if Ikenga is in this palace. Hmm? Ikenga? That is uh, if he's still alive. But from the look of things, I'm not sure Ikenga is still alive. What has come over you, Ezechi? Will you get out of my presence? Huh? Me? Get out? You and I, who's supposed to get out? See, if there's anybody to get out, it is you. Because I am officially recognized in this palace. So if there's anybody to get out, it is you. So, Hanele, get out! You think I won't tell Ikenga this, right? Will you get out of my presence? Oh, <laughs> I hope that stupid boy did not mess up your day. That fool. He's always like that. Don't mind him. I <laughs> The young maidens. They are fine. We're back. Oh. Oma killed an internal. Mother is preparing. Oma, you killed an internal. Come, come and give me a hug. What is it? What is wrong with her? Oma, what is your problem? Why are you? Why is your face like this? Father promised to die with anyone who kills an antelope. Yes, I know. I'm aware of it. And immediately he heard it was Oma. He changed his mind. What? Why would Father do a thing like that? Why? That I don't know. Where is Father right now? Where is he? Nazim, let it go. It's bye bye. Let it go. It's alright. Come on. Come on. What is wrong with you? Nothing. <laughs> she, she, she's feeling sleepy. Shut up! Don't tell me you're not feeling strong. 
I'm okay. I'm, I'm just feeling a bit sleepy because of my condition. What worthless condition? Let this not be an excuse for weakness. You know I don't tolerate weakness. Any person who does not prove strong among my wind hunters, I shall not hesitate to kill. A hunter must be strong. Even stronger than the greatest beast of the forest. Is that understood? Yes. I am strong. I can jump. I can do anything. Go to the farm. Hunt. Good. You. Come with me. Immediately. and lives to tell the story. But who are you? So one day, so two. Who I am does not matter. What matters is that both of you are not living here alive. They went to get food out of the kitchen. Okay. How did it go? He was harsh as usual, right? He didn't touch me. Don't give me that attitude. I know why he called you. How can you say he didn't touch you? Sazi, I mean it. Father is so unpredictable. He was just about to lay with me, then suddenly something came over him. He didn't touch you. I'm so happy he didn't touch you. It's not funny. It's not. Uko, I am scared. Scared of what? You know, Father doesn't want us to fall sick. I've been sick. I am so scared. Sazi. I'm scared I might die. I'm Sazi. scared I might not make it. Sazi, please. Stop saying those words. 
There is nothing abnormal with the way you feel. Every woman in your condition feels the same way. Please. You think so? I know so. Madame Bore is pregnant. She falls sick too. I also remember when Adak was pregnant of Ola. She equally felt the same way. There is nothing abnormal or wrong with you. Listen, I know father might be scary or wicked or whatever, but he's also passionate. Stop nurturing those feelings. If you give him the impression that you're scared of him, then he will scare the living daylight out of you. Okay? You have me here, you have us here. Thank you. Thank you. Let me lead you back into your hut. What happened was a sign of a great disaster that is to before this land. Disaster? Did you say disaster? Yes. A terrible famine. A famine that will destroy this land soon and shall last for some years. Why has the gods decided to punish us with such, with such a thing? Hmm? What have we done to deserve it? We didn't do anything wrong. Why? I tried to ask why. But the gods are silent. It will be expedient of you investing more time on seeking solution instead of wasting time on finding out why. Because nothing, I mean nothing, can stop it. How soon will this calamity happen? Very soon. Very soon. Make haste while the sun still shines. Don't tell me you, 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 you mean what you're saying. Just somebody should tell me that you are just joking. <laughs> we are sure of what you are saying. <laughs> I mean, you're surprised. You of all people have not had this. I've not been around since morning. Her Majesty sent me to, to get her something somewhere. I, I, I am not aware of it. No wonder. I'm beginning to doubt that you are not the one. Because you are always the first to hear matters like this. What what are you implying? Are you trying to call me a gossip? Before? <laughs> oh, Chere go to Chere no! Eh? I don't know if you're a zoo. Me, I'm even scared here. I'm very scared. I just wonder how we are going to survive this, honestly. <laughs> don't worry. You are not alone. <laughs> I've been thinking. I've been thinking of what to do. But what I cannot lay my hand is what you did to deserve all this. So, wait. You want to tell me you don't know what we did to deserve all this? Eh? Our people have killed so many innocent souls. We have shed so many innocent blood. In the name of Pam. Don't, 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 don't even go there. Don't go there at all. <laughs> Eze, you will put yourself in trouble. Be mindful of what you say. Mm -hmm. Because me, I am not involved. Mm -hmm. Because I'm saying the truth. Because I'm, because I'm a crazy man. There's no truth in what you are saying. <laughs> Our people, only find those that challenge. Their supremacy. <laughs> if we don't kill them, don't kill they'll kill us. <laughs> they'll kill us. Exactly, Onwara. You are right. Eh? You are right. But, hey, I'm so scared. I'm so scared of what will become of us. If you don't see anything to eat or drink here, eh? I'm so scared. <laughs> don't, don't be scared of hunger. <laughs> Our warriors are the pillars 
of this great kingdom and they must surely have something to eat so don't be scared even you you eat don't worry i think you are right you have made a very important point well as for me as a show what i think i should do now is to join the warriors yes to join them so that i will starve of more of more of more Zazi, Mama is right. Even if you're dying, please do not let Father suspect. We don't want to lose you. Please, I beg you. Well, well her temperature is getting high. It's getting worse. Eh? We have to get her some help, so we can't leave her like this. We'll get her help once it's nightfall, because we can't let him see us do that. If not, we're as good as dead. But isn't it normal that someone in her condition should sometimes feel sick? My sister is so sick. I'm so sorry. It's on you to make you. father understand that. I think that's what I will do. No, no, no. Please, don't. She will kill you. I don't want to lose you. You know mother is no more. You're the only one I have left. Please, don't talk to him. I'll be fine. Zazie, please don't lose hope. Be strong. Nothing will happen to you. You have us here by your side. I've promised you that before. It's alright. I appreciate everything you've done for me. May the gods of our land protect you. Should this come to pass? Of course we shall survive. Right? <sighs> or are you doubting Okata the Great? He is the greatest of his kind. And the gods speak directly to him. So it will not do us good doubting what he just said. I am not doubting. I am just being scared. I am scared. I mean, whatever that caused such tragic events was a terrible. I never saw this coming. What I don't understand is why we received the opposite of the prophecy that the Amanqua people received. Eh? What prophecy? You? What prophecy? Eh? Your Highness, the people of Amanqua were told by their chief priest that 
they will experience an unprecedented bountiful harvest in years to come. Are you serious? Did you say Amanko village? Yes, Igwe. Eh? They were told by their own chief priest. And they have even celebrated it and offered sacrifices to their gods. Igwe, don't you smell something strange? Igwe, what do we do? Sukwanti! Sukwama! Sukwanti! Sukwama! Swali! Swali! Swacha! Swali! Swali! Swacha! Now fight! We are so strong. in this condition. I have always told you never to use this hey. as excuse. One in your condition eats. So you need to train harder so as to hunt food for yourself should the need arises. The child which is to turn out any good is not reared entirely on a beautiful mat. So grab your sword. Please, father. Please. Grab your sword. Fight me! Down. Calm down, Oma. Save Sazi. What is wrong with Sazi? Our father. He wants to kill her. One worthless daughter of mine, I regret giving birth to. Among my hunters, she deserves to die. Please, 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 please spare her. It is because of her condition, I beg of you. Please. Enough of this condition excuses. You know what? After you must have delivered up this baby, you shall face me again. If you don't impress me, I shall kill you.
husband are treating us like animals. Why? Kenya and Maria, eh? Why is he acting as if he's not the one that brought me to this world? Why is he acting as if he's not the one that put me in this condition? Why is he treating me like this? Why? Why? What have we done wrong? What have we done wrong? Why is he treating my sister and I like animals? Why? It's so painful. Why is it painful? Why is it painful? But this is my condition. Was just beating me like a fool. Beating me like an animal. Is it good? Or the man? Exactly. My sister is right. In short, because of the way our mother died, maybe he's blaming us for her death. He has no reason to blame you for it. If there's anybody to be blamed, then. Look, let's not talk about this anymore. Zazi. You're badly hurt. We need to go and get you here. Oh, sorry. Oh? Sorry. Sister, you make me to start crying now. Of course you know father will kill anyone who does that. I'm sure you know. But sisters, we can handle it on our own. We don't need to involve father. We don't need to. Mama is right. Ugo. You and Mama and I will go together. No. If all live together, then you notice our absence. I'll go alone. No, Ugo, let me come with you. You know, I'm more familiar with him. We will try together. Lazuru. Why did you do that? Um, 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 do what, my lord? Don't be stupid and answer me. Why did you run and call those women? I'm, 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 I'm sorry, my lord. You are what? Did I hear you say you are sorry? Hmm. You said you are sorry. The king of Umudiki approaches our land with his warriors. Are you sure of this? Yes, my king. I saw it coming. Yes, I saw it. You. Get the warriors. They need to secure the entire land. Yes, my king. Run to my chiefs. Tell them to come and see me immediately. Everybody, get you something. Don't start looking at me. I do. And someone. <laughs> you look very, very beautiful. What's the problem? My queen, they said the king of Umudike kingdom is coming with his warriors. What? Now? Yes, my princess. We must leave at once. I need to see the king. Your Highness! 
What's the matter? What's the problem? King of Umutike approaches. Please leave the land immediately. Why, Father? I do go. You should know why. Please leave immediately. No. No, Father. We are not going anywhere. I do go. Don't be stubborn. Leave with your mother immediately. No, my king. We are not going anywhere. We'll remain here with you and face whatever that it is. Together. No. We are not. No. Please take your daughter and leave immediately. God, take them away. I said, take them away immediately. Father, we are in with you. We are not leaving anywhere. My mother and I are not going anywhere, Father. I do, but do not say that. Please. So small, but they are too strong. They have mighty warriors, they have great fighters. Onega Puluma, Fakuluma, Imadobo, and any fresh leaken. They are fighters themselves. They are warriors themselves. Stop that. Is this how you welcome visitors in your land? Don't you have respect? I am Ikenga, the Ochaya of Umudike Kingdom. And this is my king, Igwe Uchiri of Umudike Kingdom. And my prince, Prince Hahana of Umudike Kingdom. We come in peace. We do not know your reason for coming. We are here to see the king. The king of Amamko Kingdom. Take us to your king. We come in peace. Make way. You go, Jemba. We come in peace. Are we welcome to your kingdom? You are welcome. When they stand, others run. And they fight like lions. They fight. Hey, so you go to farm tomorrow? Yes, I will go. Let me go and check the crops. <laughs> ah, it's my sister, Ma. What happened to her? <laughs> What is it? 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 Mother, did you see the prince of Umudike? Of course I did. What about him? Mother, didn't you see how charming and handsome he looks? Stop! Enough! We have pressing matters at hand and you're here having feelings for your enemy. Enemy? Mother, did you just say enemy? You people mistake them for our enemies. But the man I saw, he looked so cool and and harmless. I don't think he's the type that could cause a rift against us. <laughs> Mother, he's... He's handsome. He doesn't seem to be the type that could cause a rift against us. We've heard you. 
We shall reflect over it and get back to you. <laughs> get back to us. <laughs> what is there to think about? Eh? Yeah. This is the Igwe of the great Umudike kingdom, in case you have forgotten. Am I right? <laughs> So you better do what you have to um, do. Um, yeah, it's your call, yeah. It's enough. I have had you. We will give you time to reflect. Yeah, we will be waiting. You can go. It's okay. You will see here from us. You can go. Let us leave. My princess, they are living now. Who? The king of Umudike and his son. And you are just telling me! Stop it! I'm sorry, my princess. Take it easy with her phone! Coming. Come on. Nice meeting you, my princess. Thank you. I I hope we get to see some other time. Oh, yes. I will see you some other time. I'll see you now. Mm -hmm. yes, sir, okay. Farewell, my prince. Okay. I hope everything went well. Sure, dear, sure. Everything went well. Um, I came to find out if Ikenga has visited the palace today. Hey. So, you've not heard? Heard what? Hmm. Uncle. You mean you are the only person in this land that have not heard that Igwe took uh, uh, Ikenga and other warriors for, uh, to, to, to Amanko for mass murder? You've not heard it? You mean they went there for war? Hey, you couldn't miss it. So attacking defense, uh, uh, defenseless uh, uh, people, is that what you call war? See, let me tell you, as I'm speaking with you now, the whole of Amanko must have been wiped up by now. Hey! Hey, what am I going to do now? Cry. Hey! <laughs> okay. You don't know how happy I am to have you here with me. I know you must have missed me. Hmm? And that's why I sent for you. Hmm? You did like came back from Amanko. <laughs> How are you? Hmm? I'm cool. <laughs> but, Ike, mm. you didn't want me to believe what you said now. That you would not go there for work. Do I look like somebody that went out to fight? No. I mean, the good people of Amanko, we do not have anything against them. They have been very loyal to this kingdom. Huh. No cause to fight them. Such a relief. Do you know my mind have not been at rest since afternoon is she told me that you went there to kill everybody. Is she said what? The palace servant. I came to the palace to check on you. I couldn't find you. He told me that the king took you and your warriors there for genocide against the good people of Amako. <laughs> anyway, I know how to deal with lazy bones. Like is a G. Hmm? Okay. Mm, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the best from this kingdom. Oh, you're killing me. Stop that. Father, why Amanko of all kingdom? Amanko is just a small kingdom with nothing to offer to us. Why then do we solicit their help? <laughs> Uh, Adeze, Amanko knows it's not a small kingdom. 
like you said. It is a very big kingdom that inherits a lot of blessings from the gods. We are one big kingdom. They are richly blessed with everything the kingdom can ever ask of. I heard recently they received a prophecy that their kingdom is going to receive a bountiful harvest in years to come. Well spoken. Mm -hmm. As to say, their own prophecy is opposite of ours. Oh, yes, mm -hmm. it is. So you see, they are strong enough to carry us during our downtime. You are right. That is a good news. And it's also a big relief to find out that you people did not go there to issue some war threats to them. <laughs> Why would we do that? Why would we do that? Why would we do that? See, 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 see. Of all the kingdoms mm. surrounding us, Amanko has remained the most loyal. Of course. Over the, over the period, we have never had a rumor that Amanko is involved in any conspiracy of any sort yes, against my kingdom. They are like, they are like friends to us. That's beautiful, Father. Mm. And they said they will get back to us. Oh yeah, you are with the other guy. Ah, what? What if they decline? Are we going to fight them? Hmm. Uh, but it's better they, they, they don't decline. Oh. Everyone. <laughs> it will be better they don't decline. Uh, because. Uh... The next time you run your mouth unnecessarily in this kingdom, I swear to the gods, I am going to divide your head off your body. Kuchara, what do you do to him? Deal with him. Huh? So, after what we did to you the other day, you still went about running your mouth, eh? No. Please forgive me. I, I don't know what is it. What is in me? Something in me keep talking. This time I want to close my mouth. It's... it's, it's... Something in you more, more stop today. Hey, please, please. My princess, now tell me that which could not wait in tomorrow. And from the look on your face, you look so excited. Uzamaka, <laughs> mm -hmm. I have found the man of my dreams. <laughs> I don't want to believe you're talking about the Prince of Umbike. Of course I'm talking about him. Osamaka, mm -hmm. you need to see the Prince. He's so handsome and, and charming. Wow. Just the sight of him melted my heart. Hmm. I still visualize about Everything that happened today. The way he talks. His poise. Oh, Uzamaka. I can't wait to feel the touch of such a man on me. Whisper into my ear and tell me how much he adores me. Oh, Uzamaka. Yes, my friend. Did he tell you? It feels the same way. No. He didn't say that. But I'm sure he will say it very soon. I saw it in his eyes. I'm sure the prince is thinking about me right now. <laughs> I know he hungers for me. I know that. <laughs> Samaka. I'm so happy. <laughs> of course, my princess. But I'm scared. What if he's betrothed to someone else? How dare you say something like that? Kill Joy! Just get out from this place! Get out! Can't you be happy for your friend? 
That's a very difficult thing for you. Somebody like you cannot go one moment without talking to the truth, you know. Not anymore. After a new leaf, I will never say anything again. If, if I say anything again, let me go there for dump. Tell me, why do you like talking too much? Is it because you have young girls around you and you think you are one of them? He intentionally cooks up stories just to lure those maidens to his bed. That's what he does. I, 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 I. Wait, 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 So you, you mess around with these maidens, right? No, no. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That's what he does. That's what he does. I think. It's about time we pull him out from the palace so that he will join the warriors and go to war. Yes. Eh? Uh, what? Yes. You will fight with us. Is that you must fight with us? Eh? Uh, what? Hey, hey. 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 What has this innocent boy done? My prince, there's nothing innocent about this boy. He talks like a woman. All he does in this palace is spreading baseless rumors. Goes me like a woman. It's alright. Set him free. Is it? I've had several compliments about you. This palace. Yes. It's true. You need to behave yourself. Oh. You still want to remain in this palace. <laughs> you need to behave yourself. <laughs> Do you understand me? You behave yourself. <laughs> if you still want to continue as a palace guard in this palace. <laughs> when next? I hear anything again. I will throw you out of this palace. <laughs> now get out. Where are Zazi and Oma? Ugo! Where are Zazi and Oma? Father, I... Now go fetch them! Continue! Both of you have to come with me to the square immediately. Don't tell me he sent for us. You know he must. And you know the danger this poses for the both of you. I don't care about the danger. I am not going anywhere. Even if it means our death, he has given us worse than that. Sazi, do not put your younger sister in danger. She's not putting me into anything. I have a mind of my own. And I stand with my sister in life and in death. dangerous father is. He will spare it out of you. He will kill you. Why are you crying? I don't want to lose you. Ugo, 
Why are you crying? I am not scared of death. I am not. I've seen worse than that and death will be a luxury to me. I'm not going anywhere. Mama can go with you if she wants. But for me, I am not stepping a niche. You should come here and kill me if you want. See if that's what will make him happy. That's I'm, done worse already. I'm not going anywhere. I stand with you, sister. Both in life and in death. Am I talking to a bean? Where are they? Here yeah, they come, Father. I demand answers for your lateness. We are terribly sorry, my we lord. lord. Zazi fell asleep and I had difficulties in waking her up. Why would Zazi slip off? Why? My lord, my lord, please. My lord, please. You see, a woman in her condition ought to feel that way. Please, my lord, pardon her. Is she the only one in that condition? What about Mori? I personally woke her up, my lord. Please, pardon Zazi and Oma. We shall ensure that this will repeat itself again. Continue! You know I'm the only one here. Eh? Eh? I'm, I'm trying my best. I promise. I'll finish it by tomorrow because... Tomorrow! Was that our agreement? You and I agreed that you will finish this land today. Why are you not true? Nakuda, I, I understand, but... You... Hey, 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 hey. you and I agreed that this job will be done today. And I'm standing on that. If you don't finish this job today, there's no payment for you here. Bikono, Bikono, eh? I, I, I promise I will finish it tomorrow. If you don't finish it today, expect nothing from me. Look. Hey, can you imagine? What is this place, the MC? Your Highness, mm -hmm. I still can't believe that we have not heard from these people. Don't you think they are taking us for granted? I'm as surprised as you are. But, Your Highness, I I'm sorry for what I'm about to say. And uh, I, I plead with you not to punish me. 
But if you must hear me out, Your Highness, I think the fault is all yours. How do you mean? Highness, you are too lenient with these people. And now they are taking your meekness for weakness. I believe that there are other ways. I mean, better ways to get what you want from them. See, I still have no regrets for what I have done. I have no regrets the way I'm handling this matter. If you say so. Igwe, you have a visitor from Amakwa Kingdom. From Amakwa? Bring him in. Okay. You know what I told you? Okay, let him go. You can go. You go to Leo for Each year, I greet you all. We, we greet you, we greet you. you. I bring you a reply from Amman Kwa Kingdom. I, I, I told you. Yesterday. This is very serious and we can't leave her like this. Yeah? We can give her help, see that. He sees it as weakness and inappropriate. What do we do? What do we do then? We can't leave her in this condition. She's dying. We have to do something. What is wrong with her? Nothing, my lord. She's okay. She's fine. She is not all right. Why are you people staring at her? Don't you know you need to go get her herbs? You should step out, go get her herbs immediately. Yes, my lord. We will do just that. Oh, please do. Joking. Oh, Father, please, in the name of the gods, tell me you are pulling my legs. I am not pulling your legs, my princess. I am not. Should this be true, Father, you would make me the happiest woman on earth. Serious? <sighs> you like the prince all that much and you never bother to tell me your father. Oh, forgive me, Father. Um, I, I was just waiting for the right time. Oh, Father, you are the best! But father, how were you able to find out what my heart so desires? Oh, the Prince of Amudike is going to be mine. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Finally, it's going to be mine. But they have not approved of it yet. Oh, mother. Of course they will. Who says no to a beautiful princess like me? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And especially when the news gets to the prince. Our hearts found each other. I saw that in his eyes. So, mother, just divorce the thoughts in your heart. It's as good as approved. You are so excited. It's written all over you. Oh, mother. <laughs> Don't you understand what it means when a woman marries the man of her dreams? Mother. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Oh, thank you, mother. Thank you. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> He's not just a man. He's a special man. Mm -hmm. He's a man in power. Mm -hmm. He's charming. I'm well endowed. <gasps> I'm going to be the bride of the century. Mother, be happy for me. I am happy. <laughs> I wish you luck. <laughs> I can't wait to see this baby. Me too. 
Is there anything we can help you with? Why did you ask? Because I'm checking on my daughter. No, uh, I was just wondering if you need anything. If I need something, I will say it. Meanwhile, Zazi, how are you today? Oh, yeah. I am all right. I'm okay. You look a big sit. Have you been taking some herbs? Uh, yeah. No, 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 but I believe I'll be fine. <sighs> Little herbs will not be bad for your condition. I will go. You go get her some herbs. In that case, I'll go with them. No. Come to my heart immediately. <sighs> no. Father, no, I beg of you. Oh my still a child. She's not of age. Please, I beg of you. Will you shut up? You don't tell me what I do with what I owe. I own all of you. And I decide who is of age and who is not of age. Come with me immediately. You don't have to be scared. I am scared as well, but what can we do? Just take a good look at me. Farag is the one that puts me in this condition. Yet, he wants to defile you in this your young age. You are still a kid. You are a teenager. He's not supposed to be treating us like this. Oh, my sister, what can we do? Come, I don't want to lose you. You just have to go and answer me. Just go. It's okay, don't cry. He's strong. And what are you doing here? I come in Omar's place. Why? My lord, she's not prepared for this. She's only but a child. I decide that. My lord, you have dominion over us. No one can contest you on that. But I know you, as a loving and kind father. You would want to have carnal knowledge of your own when she is ripe. You can have me. You can have Oma. You can have any one of us when you choose to. But at the right time. Take me instead. Oma is not ready yet. This is the most ridiculous thing I've had for a very long time. And what makes you think it is ridiculous, Princess? Of course it's ridiculous, Father. Of all the things on earth, that's all they could come up with. My brother cannot marry a girl in Mary Lou's. Shut up. Shut your mouth. I think that decision bare it lies with the Prince. Totally. And what says the Prince? Shut up. That's what says the Prince. I, 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 I can't believe this. Yes, it's strange. So strange. Why should they come up with such impossible condition? They are scared of us. Yes, and that is why they want the two kingdoms to bond together forever. So that we will not rise against them in future. Ooh. That's what it means. Yes. Yes. That is it. They seek the impossible because they cannot choose a maiden for one prince. We can't. And we can't grant them that. At all. At all. But, but, but we need their help, don't we? Of course, we. Of course. 
Wait, wait, wait. Igwe, don't tell me you have granted it already. I came to collect my money. Did you in any way take me for an idiot? Oh, you thought I was actually joking when I told you not to come to my compound if you didn't finish your job yesterday. You knew I could not finish it yesterday. I just finished it now. That's why I came to meet you. <laughs> it was not ending your own will. I wanted the job urgently done yesterday. You failed. So, nothing for you. Hey, Bikunu, Bikunu, please, Biko, don't do this to me. You know I'm a helpless orphan. Biko, I did your job with empty stomach. I know I did this thing for a living. You don't have any money with me, Bikunu. Bikunu, help me. Help me. Please, Biko, don't do this to me. Oh. 
bandas run I'll be fight like lions They fight like tigers They fight like spirits They are of the gods Asana Fasilike Fesika Fasilike Ene Neawite Abonyuoko Hey, Fasilike They are too strong They are too strong Ugo Father Call your sisters together I think that's enough for the day. But father, we haven't made any catch yet and... Did you hear me? I said retire home! Yes, father. Waka! Yes? Yeah? One more. I'm here. Oma, we'll go home now. Retire home! I understand all that's wrong. I seek a I'll be fight like lions. They fight like tigers. They fight like spirits. They are of the gods. Who are you? <laughs> Why did you stray into my territory? Did you say your territory? This is a no man's land. Why do you claim it's your territory? Swai Kute! You have just embarked on a journey of no return. You shouldn't have crossed me. I am not afraid of you. I am not afraid of you. <laughs> My father asked you to return. Do you know? Not at all, Zazi. But with the way he spoke to me, I sense evil. Exactly. You know, I thought I was the only one that observed it. How? Why did you say so? I think father sensed danger and didn't want us to get harmed. I agree with Oma. You know Father is a God. He sees things we cannot see. But Zazi, I'm really beginning to worry about you. The way you're going down, Father might notice. And you know what will happen if he does. It certainly may fail. Your condition is getting worse. And I'm worried about you. What scares me most is, what if my sister gives birth to an evil child? With the gospel thing. Don't that make father hate us more? Please, you people should help me beg the gods so that my sister will not deliver an evil child. It's alright. It's alright, Oma. I promise I'll be fine. I'm sure the gods will not forsake us. Ah! Where's that sound coming from? It's coming from Mbori's hut. Maybe she's in labor. Labor? Yes.
She's in labor. Adako, what did she deliver off? I see. I am King Zuru. I'm an indestructible man. Never in this life will I see a male child rise in my kingdom. Oh, I am Zuru. I remain the one and only male in my kingdom. No one succeeds me because I am here to live forever. To have eternal dominion over my women and territory, I share them with no one. Any male child delivered in my kingdom remains an evil that must be destroyed. So I give to you an evil seed from Mgorius' womb. It is all yours. They did not teach you some manners, okay? Even if they did, we she have lands. When our mission was to get rid of people that brought her into this world, look at her. Oh, one day, Who prompted this name? People are calling me now. Who prompted the name? Oh, you are pretending that you don't know, okay? Boy, I greeted you people. You people refuse to answer me. Ah, what are they both pushing me? They call me name. Already, eh? <laughs> <Mr. 
<gülüyor> ne mori. <gülüyor> Şimdi limada bana ne yapacağım? <gülüyor> I believe you are capable of taking the right decision. You have a mind of your own. And this all important decision lies solely on you. No matter what the situation is that we are facing. But to me, I think you are taking too much time. It appears you have forgotten the situation we are in. Does your quietness mean dislike for this princess in question? Not at all, Father. Then what is it? Is she not beautiful enough to your test? Far from that, Father. You know pretty well I look beyond beauty when it comes to marriage. 
Father, I cannot get married to a girl I barely know. This is a girl I will spend the rest of my life with. A girl I will face day in, day out. A girl that will succeed as the future queen of this kingdom. When I finally assume this throne as the king of this kingdom. But I don't know her. I don't even love her. I understand you, my son. I understand you. See, let me tell you. People fall in love differently. It is not compulsory that you must fall in love at first sight. It is not. Let me tell you. The love that can last, last forever is the love that you gradually build. When you see someone daily, day in, day out, you interact, you begin to develop affection for one another. This is that of love that lasts forever. See, I face a similar situation as you are facing now with your mother. In my days, mm. I didn't truly really love your mother. But I married her even though I barely know her. You and Princess of Amambo can be a better example than us. Why don't you think about it? Hmm. Hmm. Chara from Mumudike Kingdom. Tell him to come. Yes, my king. Welcome, Ochara of Mumudike Kingdom. Greetings, Your Majesty. I hope your king is fine. All is well, Your Majesty. Sit down. Thank you. Your Majesty, the Supreme King of Umudike Kingdom demands the Prince of Umudike Kingdom spend some time with the Princess of Amanko Kingdom so that they can get to know themselves better, get acquainted. You know what I'm saying. Of Majesty. course, of course. Are uh, the two kingdoms not friends already? Of course. <laughs> we are friends. I don't think it is out of place for the Prince and the Queen to be to get to know themselves better. <laughs> you have said it all, Your Majesty. Tell your king. I approve it. Thank you, Your Majesty. I beg to leave now. No, 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 no. Wait. Let me offer you something. Don't go ahead. <laughs> Gods! Mother, you won't believe this. Seriously? <laughs> Messengers from Mumudike just left the palace. And father called me to give me the good news. <laughs> I told you, I told you the prince is already into you and he wouldn't want to miss this opportunity of making you his bride. <laughs> well, he hasn't said he's going to marry me. He just said he needs to spend some quality time with me so we'll get to know each other better. Of what difference does it make? I guess he's doing this just to avoid uh, talks from wagging. You know, people may say that he, he's trying to marry someone he barely knows. <laughs> Very soon, he will be all this. <laughs> of course, mother. I know that. I know. Reasons I have to go to Mudike to be with him. And I can't wait to start pa What are you girls still waiting for? Get out! Get out! Are you not supposed to start packing for our next trip? Can't you see they're doing something for me? Mother, they are my needs. You have yours. Call them. Wait a minute. Mother, she was even seated while massaging your feet. 
What insolence! What you want? What you want? What you want? What kind of daughter is this? I don't understand. What is actually happening? It turns out that our people did not go to Amman for that very day for war, but to seek for their help instead. Yes. Hmm. And that's exactly what I am. I know I'm very surprised at that thing. Yeah? Hmm. But this is unlike our people. Very, very unlike them. I wonder why they chose not to go violent this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was. You don't know your kingdom very well. <laughs> we only fight those that challenges a supremacy. I'm not poor people are very submissive to us. So, why will we rise up one day and kill them all? It's not good. We are good people. We are strong. But what actually was the outcome? Eh? I've been trying to find out. But to no avail. Did they agree to support us? That is the problem. I've not heard anything. But I'm sure they have sent reply. Yes. Easy. 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 Did you know what their response was? Talk to us, please. Easy. Say something. You, you, you know you are always ahead of us in this kingdom. You even know more than the way. Tell us something. Easy. Please talk to us. Easy. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. What do you people want me to say? Eh? What do you people want me to say? Were you not there when I made a promise that I will never speak or say anything? Oh, you want me to talk so that you go and tell them, tell Ikenga and the other warriors that as they said. Please, look at my armpit. There is no hair. So, Ikenga, Ikenga, Ikenga. 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 Ikenga, you know you are our friend and we cannot betray you. Oh. If you know something, just tell us. Please. Eh? Is it please? Talk to us. Hey, look. I, I don't want to say anything, no. I don't want to say anything. Look, let me tell you. I made a vow to Ikenga and all the warriors that I will never speak a word in this palace again until Ikude Majocha. That is until I die. Please. For that very reason, I am not going to say anything. Oh, oh, oh. You people want me to tell you people that the, the, the king of Amanko has offered his daughter to our prince as the only condition to help us? Or you want me to tell you that? Oh, you also want me to tell you that even our prince have not even agreed to accept the girl. He only said, uh, uh, come and stay. Let's see if it will work out. So all this is, is what you people want me to say. Look, I remain silent. I can never say anything. <laughs> Is it? Are you serious? Is it you mean all these things happen in this palace? Eh? Oh, no, no, no. Eh? What? Are you serious? I'm asking you and you're asking Wonder. me. Hey. You mean all these things that I said happen here in this palace and nobody bothered to tell me, yeah, is it? Well, you just told us now. Me? Yes. Tell you. Yes, Did no. I say anything? <laughs> but I I I I thought 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 I Don't stop it! You're beating up your girl! Don't you have shame! My, my prince, this girl insulted us! Exactly, my prince. She insulted us! She called us names! Prince, I did not call her names! 
Shut up your mouth! Shut up! How dare you lie against this girl? My prince, these two are lying. Allow me to handle them. Come on. Don't tell me you're beating up simply because you think nobody can question you. No, my prince. She insulted us. That's the truth, my prince. Shut up! How dare you interrupt the prince? Even if she calls you names, no reasonable man with his right senses will lay his hand on a maiden like this. I don't like what I just saw. Let it not repeat itself next time. Now get out! I swear in my son's death, I never called their names. This one is too many times they see me on the road. They always want to pick me up. Because of my ancestors. It's alright. Stand up. Okay now. Hey, pal. Come. Give me a hand. Stand up, you're right. Stop crying. Are you hot? You're hot. Stop crying. Wipe your tears. Show me where you live. I want to take you home. Prince, I don't want to interrupt your movement. Don't worry, I'll take care of myself. I was actually going to nowhere. I was just taking a stroll around the village. So to tell me where you live. Please, I can take care of myself. Don't worry. I want to take you home. Tell me this is where you live. It is my prince. Ha. This deserted place. What about your parents? The prince, they are late. So how did you end up living here? Survive. I don't mean you just for relieving. Oh my dear. I know life must have been so unfair to you. You mean you stay here all alone? No friends? No parents? Not even relatives? Maybe I must confess you a strong girl. So, I know you have some few friends coming around. Everyone isolated me. I don't have any single friend. They said I'm the one who is responsible for my parents' tragic death. So how did he die? My parents, they went for famine. It was really that day. So they went to sort for a shade under a tree. The branch of the shade fell and killed them. Since then, the whole villagers said I'm the one who killed my parents. They called me all sort of names. They even called me Opanje. My people and their myopic mindset. My dear, it is alright. Okay? No condition is permanent. Nothing lasts forever. I must tell you, 
you have a friend now. I would like to say, you have friends. We are your friends now. So go inside and get me a seat to sit down and a water to drink and test it. My prince, you, 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 you don't want this. Go inside, get me the water. I want to take it. My prince, she said dirty water. <laughs> I don't mind. Go inside and get me the water. The water is not good enough for you. I want the water. Even if it's dirty, I want to drink it. Go inside. My Lord Zuru. My Lord. My Lord Zuru. My Lord. What is it? Why are you disturbing me? My Lord, I, I was trying to... Where you get out? I thought you are not around. No, I want to stream. Okay. From the prince to you. You mean the prince gave me all this? Yes. He also said I should tell you to come to the palace tomorrow. Tomorrow's noon. I hope if I come to the palace, nobody will bother you. Not at all. You are free to come anytime, any day. I shall be on my way now. Please, turn the prince for me. My mouth is not wide enough to thank him. I don't know where to start from. May the gods of our land bless him for me. Okay. I will. supposed to be at the training ground by now. I'm sorry, my lord.
So you mean all these years you've not learned anything from me? You and your sister are indeed a waste and a disgrace to my family. Now draw your sword. Father, my lord, please, I can't teach her. Shut up! She's not learning. I'm not ready to learn. I saw it from afar. <laughs> and that's a sign of weakness. And you know I don't condone weakness. Because a hunter supposed not to be weak. A hunter must be brave! Now get up and draw yourself! Get up, I say! Father, please! Father! Please, Father, please, my lord! Any one more word, you are dead! Get up and draw yourself! Get up, I say! What are you doing here? I came to see the prince. Is she not that bandit that killed her parents? She is. And I wonder what she, she's doing. What brought you here? I came to see the prince. Who? The prince? Yes. What for? He said I should come and visit him today. The prince, you should visit him. You must be stupid. You're stupid. What does the prince have to do with a common, a nobody like you? Now, get out of here! Are, are you doubting me? Are you doubting me? If you think I'm lying, go and confirm from him. Please, now. Get out! Now move! It's the one that said I should come and visit. I said move! Get out! Move! I'm off here, idiot!
a lion sat to do what you just did. You alone is fit to wear this crown. You alone is fit to be our queen. much since I arrived. <laughs> Your father is indeed the Supreme King. And you have such a great vast. Good looking palace. I love it. Mm. I'm glad. I'm glad you love my palace. You know, I was scared. Oh, my mom, it up to your needs. No! No, it's... Uh, anyway, I was raised with a voluptuous taste of good things. Many have tried, though, but none has received such credits from me. You are lucky. All right, um... The maidens... Um, do you really need them? Of course. Because I have a lot of maids here who can take care of you. No, 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 no. Whatever no. it takes that you need. No, please. My maidens are special and well trained. Not all maidens can attend to my needs. And why do you ask? Not at all. They are welcome. They are welcome to my palace. Let's go and meet my mother and my sister. <sighs> mother. The lion prays for this great kingdom. May you live long, mother. And you too. My daughter, I've been looking for you. I was showing her the kingdom and what the kingdom have for her. Yes. That's good. <laughs> oh dear, how did you see her? Little home. My kingdom is not little. Yes. It's a great home. Yes. I'm sorry, my friends. Come on, have a seat. It's okay. I think I love it. It's okay. <laughs> Just okay. Okay. I'll fight like lions. came to greet our queen and receive her blessings. What's the meaning of that? You, 
you, you can't greet me this way. Stop. Stop. Stand, 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 stand. You can't do this. Listen, I am not Zuru and I will never be Zuru. But you are a queen now. You must take his place. No. That's a very wrong word to use. I am your queen, yes, but I can never take his place. He was no human. He was a beast. I will never trade his path. I am Zazi and will remain Zazi. We are all one. It's all right. When they stand, others run. And they fight like lions. You are such an interesting girl by like that. <laughs> of course. I know my queen. Mm. I do. I know I am. Your personality is very interesting. So tell us more about your likes and dislikes. <clears throat> okay, Your Majesty. There are not many, but okay. I will tell you. Tell you. I'm the only child of my parents. Mm -mm. I was raised not just like a princess. I'm more like a queen. <laughs> My parents sometimes worship and adore me like a goddess I am. Really? And you like that? Of course. Do I look less than a goddess? No. Okay. I love it when people accord me with so much respect and fear. I also love it when they worship me like a goddess. I love wearing expensive ornaments. And looking classic always. And as for my dislikes, I hate people who are below my standards. There's this, there's this disgusting aura around them that makes me want to throw up. <coughs> and in my father's land, my father <coughs> gave me farms. <coughs> My friends. Please order the kitchen to prepare something. Huh? Yes, something of more. course, of course. Food immediately. Uh, uh, Call the maidens. Your Majesty, mm. I haven't finished. They have to eat something. Mm. Mm. You know, you just arrived. You need already. some rest. Abuga, please come. Mm. I said it. I said this. I said it again, but nobody wants to believe me. Did you see the presence of Amanko? I told you that those people have more than... In fact, their maidens are... Didn't you see the princess? Didn't you see her maidens? Hi! Ezechi, <laughs> why are you sounding as if they possess the beauty of a goddess? Uh -huh. I saw them. They are beautiful, yes. But they are no more beautiful than us. Uh, oh, God, Thank tell you. him. Exactly, tell him. Eh? I don't even know why he praises these people as if their beauty is out of the soul. Eh? Are they more beautiful than us? In a hope I hear. Eh? Beautiful? Yes. So, if people that are beautiful are lining up now, three of you will join them. Uh -huh. With it's all this, stop. your old faces. Eh? And all this spot, spot all over your body. Are you not seeing the presence of Amanko? Haven't you seen how spotless that lady is? Hey, she naked that girl. What is even your own honor? Eh? If you want to call my name, call it straight. But it won't be. Are you a he goat? What you all the, all the time? If you want to call my name, call it straight. A Z H. Say it. What should be the words? Let it let it not be. What I'm thinking of. Let it not be like you are planning to mess around with. Any of those medics? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this one. You are talking about any of these. Look, the two of them. I'm targeting the two of them. And if I get them at the corner, mm. if they don't go home with pregnancy, call me a fool. Huh? What? Yes, now. Hey. Is it? Just there it. <laughs> Just there it. Let me see you around any of those medics and see if I'll not report you. Yes. She will not only be the one to report you, I will also report you. Look at them. You people will report me. Try it. No, try it and see what I will do. If I oh 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 wait 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 wait. You think I don't know what you people have been doing with all those warriors? Oh, you think I'm blind? 
Look at you. You are here. All, all you do is now walk and get up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You cannot open your eyes and see what is happening around the palace. These people have been having secret affair with the warriors. Just mm, try it. Just try me. Is it? Is it you? know we are friends now. Eh? Ah, leave me alone. Friends. Friends, my but, foot. But, is it you? are insulting me. You are insulting me. You are insulting me. Me? Insulting you? No, 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 no. Oh, 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 I am not the one insulting you. You are the one insulting yourself. What is your, your problem? Me. Eh? Uh, me. Me. You are mocking me. You mock me. Oh, no, no. My children, many years ago, when we were yet little kids in our community, came this fierce looking man. From nowhere, he fought and conquered our community and made away with six little girls. I was one of them, including the rest of the mothers you are seeing here today. He traveled with us for a very long time. At a point, we all lost consciousness. When we woke up, we found ourselves in this place. <laughs> you mean this was how you people ended up with him? Yes, my daughter. We had no choice but to stay here and produce children for him. And none of you ever tried to escape? One of us tried to escape. Oriemma was her name. He killed her. We all became scared. None of us ever tried to escape again. He forced us to swear. Never to tell the story of how we found ourselves in this place to you, to you girls. Zazi, your mother never loved it here. He found out and hated her the more. After your mother committed suicide, because of the maltreatment he was giving her, he transferred the hatred to you and Oma. That man was a beast. Are you trying to say there's another world aside ours? Yes. There are actually people that exist out there aside us. Of course, okay. Olama. But I can plainly tell you that no one of us knows the way out here. We don't even know where we are. But we knew we are somewhere in the world. He has never allowed us to stretch beyond this area. We are leaving this place. To be Zazi, please. We have nowhere to go to. I suggest that we all remain here and accept this situation in good faith. We are all living here in the morning. What do we have left here? If not bad memories, we have nothing left. Listen, everyone, get your things ready. First thing tomorrow morning, we are leaving here. Is that understood? Yes, I agree. So quality. What are you doing here, Princess? How do you mean by what I am doing here? On my Princess, I thought my mother, the queen, provided you a chamber. Yes, she did. But I couldn't have slept there alone. I mean, not when you were around. But why do you ask? You are not comfortable with me here? Eh? Um, not really. It's just that I, I don't know how my parents will feel if they should. Please. Should they what? This is not just an 
man if you would like the voice to hear. Prince Ahana, do not give me the impression that you are not the grown man I take you to be. We are adults and soon to be married. Hey, if you get it and it's tough, now you're dead. Why are you here? Move. Move, move. I come, 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 move. Why should they care if we spend the night together? Weeks. Let's go off my foot, you pig. Get out. My friends, it seems you are off to somewhere. Oh, yes, yeah. I, I want to take a walk around the village. Oh, I want us to take a walk around the village. Oh, really? I would love to come with you, yes. I also want to see how the kingdom looks like. Yes, let's... And when you say walk, you mean we go on foot? Oh, yes. We'll trek. I love trekking. Go on foot? Yes. Um, the prince, you mean you do not have a litter? Um, my princess, ever since you entered this palace, I guess you might have looked around and see there's no litter around here. My prince, I do not think I would walk in the sun. I think your father should get you a litter. Don't you think so? I see you're not ready to walk with me. Maybe you sit back with your maids and have a wonderful time. Okay? I'll see you when I come back. Sure we have enough food and water because I don't know how long this journey is going to be. We we'll have everything. No, 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 my child, please I keep it. Need. Please, you need them. I keep don't it. need them. Please, you need them. You are now our queen. You need them so that you can lead us to our destination. When the please. And the fight like lions. They fight like tigers. They fight like spirits. They are of the gods. Is there anybody home? You are here. Yeah. I invited you over to the palace last night. And you ignored it. Are you avoiding me or something? Of course not, my prince. 
I came to the palace, but your guards refused to let me in. My guards? Is any of them here? No, I met different guards. The, the, the ones at the entrance. Did you tell them I invited you over? I told them, but they doubted you. They said both of us have nothing in common. I understand. Um, so sorry about that. When next I will tell them that you're coming over, so they will give you entrance. Okay? Forgive my mistake. That will not happen again. I got you some food. Drop it. You have to manage this for now. So go inside and get a seat to sit down. Prince, thank you. Thank you. He's not standing. Okay? Mm. Go inside. Ever since my parents died, life has been so unfair to me. I've been stigmatized, brutalized, and intimidated. even makes it more worse for me. <laughs> Wicked boys come to this place to attack me anytime they so wish. <sighs> this is the reason why I'm not comfortable with this place. You used to live here with your parents, right? No. <laughs> this is my grandparents' place. I was cast into this place by my kinsmen. After my parents died, they said I'm the one who killed my father. They treated me so bad. So bad. They called me all sorts of names. They called me evil child. People refused to bury my parents in my own place. <laughs> they buried my parents there. <laughs> my friends, I know the truth behind this. It's a conspiracy of my wicked uncle. <laughs> I want to take possession of my father's properties. It's been so fair. It's alright. This world is so wicked. This world is so wicked. It's alright. Ah, you must be the princess of Amankwa Kingdom. Yes, I am the princess of Amankwa Kingdom. The one and only. Uh, I'm sorry the prince is not back. And where could he be? My princess, I do not know the whereabouts of the prince. Isn't it funny how all of you do not know the whereabouts of your prince? What is wrong? What is wrong with these people? My princess. I am not the guard, personal guard to the prince. And I think he must have left with his guards. A guard? He's a guard. Irrespective of his size. So who are you? My princess, that's really interesting. I will forgive you. And I will pardon your ignorance. Listen, I am the Ochai of this kingdom. I am Ikinga, the great of this kingdom. I am the lion of this kingdom. Without me, nobody breathes in this kingdom. I look after this kingdom while everybody goes into his serious slumber. How dare you speak to the princess of Almakwa kingdom like that? Leave here! 
at once! My princess, I think I will talk to you some other time. Soon you will get to know who I am and understand the meanings of the accolades poured on me. I still forgive you. The king must know about this! Who is he? Good day, my princess. Who are you? Um, are you looking for the prince? Yes. And why do you ask? Um, because I know his whereabouts. I know where he went to. Yes, I know. Speak! Um. Hey! The princess of Amakwa Kingdom is allergic to people like you. Speak! And from a distance. Okay, my princess. Um, you see, eh? Even if I must tell you where, where he went to, please do not mention my name. Or if you will tell him that somebody told you, don't involve me, Biko. I am begging you. I said speak at once. All right. Okay. Um, my princess, uh, uh, the, your, uh, the prince, eh? I don't really feel happy leaving you. But I have to go. I know my father might be looking for me. He was not in the palace when I left. It's okay. You made my day with your presence. I will ever appreciate this day. Come here. You've not told me your name. My name is Mwachi. Mwachi. What a beautiful name for a beautiful goddess like you. Mwachi, I would love to see you and see you and see you again. Um, you're free to come to the palace now, anytime you wish. Because once I get home, I will tell the home guards about you. So nobody will disturb you anymore. Okay. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. Mwachi. You don't know the joy I derive anytime I'm around you. You've made my day. I must dream of this day every night. This moment. You take good care of yourself, okay? I have to be on my way. And stay out of trouble. <laughs> Okay. Amazing. You can retire to your quarters. Thank you very much for the day. Okay. And where are you coming from? My princess. Do not princess me. And do not try to give me that look. I have heard about the wretched witch you've been involving yourself with. And where did you hear that? Oh. You actually thought it's still a secret, isn't it? It's no longer a secret. Because even your own servant too has heard of it. Yes. Prince Ahanda, you deserve better. Give yourself some respect. My servant. You said my servant. And which of my servants said that? Hey! My priest! I see. Um. Look, princess. I went to see. Mwachi, that is the truth. It's not what you think. She is just my friend and 
that is it. A friend. Such a nobody a friend. This is the same girl I've heard tales about. Prince Hannah. You actually chose that smelly girl over me? If you had wanted to insult me, you should, you should have been a bit lenient. This, this right now is wickedness. Tell go who kill a child. Ma, go walk it up. Come on, twenty bog. Is this the princess of Amalfo? <laughs> I learned of your arrival and I was going to the palace to say hello. Isn't it funny? <laughs> Isn't it funny how others appreciate my presence? <laughs> but the man I came to be with does not. Oh, princess, <laughs> you sound very bitter <laughs> and uh, you don't look good. Why are you crying? Is everything all right? How can everything be all right? When the man I will soon be married to has decided to be to be with some girl. What? A dirty one at that. Uh, uh, I don't say. The prince seeing another woman. Uh, but tell me, who is this woman? They call her Wachi or something. She's a witch. I heard she killed her parents and was cast out of her community by her kingsmen. <laughs> that girl? But, but, what could the prince be doing with such a girl? Exactly the same question I asked. Doesn't he know his royalty? Hmm. Um, um, my princess, listen, you must trust me on this. I will make sure that the prince stops seeing that girl, I assure you. And what is your name again? I am Ichie Okole, the son of Okwamunta. I can trust you on this. Right? Yes, my princess. Do this for me. You would know why I am called Princess Adugo. But I have to leave for my father's land at once. Bye, my princess. <laughs> My meal ticket. <laughs> Okoli, mwoku wa mwanta. Oda bago. Mwana nene mi fesilike. Amisilike, ahayyele pa. Ene ni amwite, aponyo ako. Ahayyele pa. Amisilike. Honey. Honey, please. Honey, please. Let me, I'm finished. Honey, I'm finished. Sinke mahungula. What do I do now? Please help me now, please. <laughs> what happened? You have to help me. That princess has killed me. She has finished me. See, I told her something she's supposed to know. And I asked her not to tell anyone. She went and narrated everything to the prince. What will I do now? The prince will kill me. Hey, 
<laughs> so, you are still talking and hearing. After what the warriors did to you the other night, you have not learned your lessons. After what Ikenga did to you the other day, your head is still blocked. I learned too. I learned so many lessons. But I don't know what is wrong with my mouth. It's not even me, it is this mouth. Each time I try to control it, the mouth will keep talking, talking, talking. I have tried to hold it. Even if I hold it, you will see the mouth. It will be... I don't know. Please help me. So, how do you want me to help you? You deserve to be killed. Huh? Hey! Welcome to place. Look at my prince. Kazuchi. My, 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 my prince. I really don't know what to do to you. Eh? So tell me, how do I handle you? Uh, eh? I said, how do I handle you? My prince, please don't handle me. My whole life has been handled already. Look at me from head to toe. I am finished. I, I died three, four, five, six days ago. And I wake up. They send me back that if anybody touches me, I will not die finally. If you send those your warriors to me, hey! They <laughs> probably <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up. Ahana, what is this that I'm hearing about you seeing another girl? Is it true? Yes, Father, it's truth. I am seeing somebody. But there's no reason for her to be to feel insecure. Who is this girl you are seeing? Father, she's just a friend of mine. Father, there is no strange attached. This is what I try explaining to her, but she wouldn't listen. Ahana, I repeat myself. Who is this girl you are seeing? Father, I just said she's a friend. Ahana, you are raising your voice at me. I know you won't divulge any information, I know. Get out of my sight this minute. Get out! And I will assure you I'll find out myself. Get out! Oh, uh, we need to spread out. If we must get something today. And remember, the purpose for this hunting is to get bushmeat from Wachi. And we must get it. Yes. Understood? Yes. My prince. Please don't go too far. I am a man. I can take care of myself. Around this bush, 
Okay, okay. I dropped my weapon. Don't run. Don't. Come. 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 Emergency! Oh, guess that. They are amazing in this forest. Yes. Maybe they run. I don't know. They run through this way. Let's advance more. Let's advance. People needed to have seen them and see what I'm talking about. Do you think they live around this bush? My point. Huh? I did not see them, so I can't tell. Oh, me too. I don't know what to say. Maybe they live around this forest since you say they look bushy. Do you think so? Yes. Because of my ancestors. What my eyes behold today is something I've not seen before. Let us go. We'll come back. Igenga, are you sure of what you're telling me? Very sure, Your Highness. Very sure. Father, you sent for me. Anna, where have you been? I went hunting, Father. You went where? Hunting. Hunting? A man whose house is on fire. You are busy chasing rats. Anna, the woman you are supposed to marry left this palace earlier today. Are you not supposed to be sorting things out with her? Okay, I see. You are not bothered. You are not bothered because of that little witch who you have been seeing of recent. Father and Wachi has nothing to do with she this. She has everything to do with this. Because she is the, at the center of every action. It is because of her that you ignore the presence of the princess. Father, I ignore the princess because I don't like her. What did you just say? I said I don't like the princess and I will not marry her. Never. <laughs> Ahana. Ahana, you marry her. My daughter, you have been like this since you came back. I just learned that you've not taken anything since you came back. You've been like this, why? Do you want to harm yourself? Mother, why would he treat me that way? Why? My daughter, it's okay. Men are like that. At times, they're even confused about what they want. Hmm? It's okay. But that's not enough to make enough to eat your food or remain like this since you came back. Any other person there? No. Let's go this way. We'll kill them all. Yeah. 
Thank you, my princess. I want you to always trust in me. That's good. I will get going now because I wouldn't want anyone to see us together. Okay? And keep me detailed. I will. Okay, you need a piece of land behind that cocoa plantation. The one that has that big cocoa on it. Exactly. Exactly, my daughter. Um, that's my piece of farmland. Uh, can you harvest it for me? But now, what about your wife and children? Can't they handle it? Mm. Uh, they are out of the land at the moment. And uh, it's not a man's job. If it were, I would have... But why do you ask? Can't you do it for me? I can. Thank you very much. Um, here. Take this. I will give you more when the job is done. My, thank you very much. You thank you. So how do I locate your place? Because I don't know you. Mm, don't worry about that. I will meet you at the farmland tomorrow. From there, I will take you to my house. Okay. My, thank you very much. Oh. All right. Good night. Hi. Can you imagine? This man gave me this huge amount of money for this small piece of land. This man must be a big man. This man must be a very nice man. Oh. What is it? Much. Much, my friends. She was brought to the palace moments ago. For stealing. And the Igwe other ones should lock her up. What? Much is being locked up at the palace yes. for stealing? Yes, my friends. It's impossible. Much. This way. What is it I'm hearing about you? That you caught to do what? Huh? Prince, I did not steal. I did not steal from the farmland. I was only working for the man who employed me. Someone employed you? A man contracted me last night to work on his farmland to have faced the cassava. Claiming his wife and children are out of the land. That's what 
That was what I wanted to do, my friends. Before the woman and daughter came and said, I, 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 I stole from their farmland. Did you, did you say this to my father? Did you? I mean, I told everyone. I even told the king. No one wants to listen to me. Just shut up. Just shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Gods of my ancestors, what has she done in this village that nobody wants to accept her? Rather they see her as an enemy. What? We are people so wicked. My prince. Oh. My prince. Watch. I'm not sure you want them. I will do everything within my power to get you out of this cage. Please. Just hold on. Hold on for me. Have you known this girl in question? Father, for the little while I've known this girl. I don't think she's a thief. Father, the quality times I've spent with this girl has given me the opportunity to know this girl very well. You remember the sad story I told you about? Somebody is trying to take her out of the picture. Father, this must be a setup. <laughs> setup? Who is this girl in question? Who is who is she? Who is she? Who could be wanting to take her out of out of the picture? For what reason? Father. Excuse me. Let me tell you. Criminals have a way of making people take pity on them. Anna, I think you should take yourself out of this story before you give people of this kingdom a wrong impression about yourself. Father. Enough. This girl is a thief. She's a criminal. She violated the laws of our land. And you know the penalty. She will face it. Ah. Did anything happen? Wait, see. It's about that girl they brought her earlier today. Uh -huh. Hey, talk. What is it? Do you think she is guilty as charged? Huh? Of course she's guilty. Hey. Huh? It's written all over her. What makes what makes you believe she's guilty? She's a helpless girl. It's so obvious she steals for survivor. Sure. Hey, Child, wait, please. let me tell you people. I know Mwachi very well. <laughs> Mwachi, I know. May I finish her up. The death that killed her parents is. Oh, that girl. Very. And... <laughs> that girl does not steal from people. Oh. The only thing she does is. Fine, she stole the, uh, the prince from the presence of her mom. Uh -huh. But she do not steal people's valuable. I know her very well. The only thing she does is she steals human beings. What kind of talk is that, sir? What kind of woman being are you? You are a woman. So, this fine talk I, that I... I, 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 I Which one is fine? Sir? Oh my God, she might have
princess. So you have already heard the news. <laughs> I have. Or oh, don't you know how news flies in this part of the world? <laughs> I heard everything. My princess, you really surprised me with this. <laughs> Surprise you with the speed with which that girl will be sentenced to death. I will do everything in my power to make sure the Igwe condemns her to death. Everybody, I will be the happiest princess on earth. And the prince, how did he handle that? Oh. He's so, so disappointed in her at the moment. He's so devastated. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on with you. So, my girl is out of the way. I can't wait. I will be the happiest princess of all. I can't wait. I like this. You are the best. Thank you. you know nothing about. King, I am begging you this because I know you can do it. I praise it's going to be very difficult, honestly. But not impossible. Ah, no, 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 my peace. King, hold on. Has, my peace, it hasn't got into this. Listen, to my peace, if I have to do anything for you, it is not you giving me money. I'll do anything. My peace, please, please, my peace, please, I beg you. Please, please, look, my duty is to protect this kingdom and you, my prince. It is my duty. I will do it for you. King, so you're giving but me assurance. But not money. You're prince. giving me assurance you will do it. I will see what I can do, my prince. King, I thank you so much. And I wish you good luck. About the man we saw in the bush the other day. Yeah? This might be his land. It's possible he was among the casualties. No. He's not. I saw the casualties myself. You you remember him vividly? Of course I do. I still have a clear picture of him on my mind. Why are you bothered by the way? Nothing. I'm just 
Podcasts kommt sein. She's still held captive. I mean, the security was so tight, we would have been caught. It's really difficult. You're right. I understand. Thank you very much for your effort. I quite appreciate it. You can now retire to your quarters. Good night, my prince. May the gods protect you. I see. Make sure you succeed. I trust you. I make sure you succeed. When they stand, all that's wrong. And they
feel so real. I feel so different. Oh, my look, oh, see. Which means it is very simple for someone to pay you to kill me and you will easily do it. You will never do anything to hurt me. How dare you attempt to free my prisoner? How dare you? Who paid you? Answer me, who paid you? But my gift, no, no one paid me. I just felt pity for her. I believe she, she, she was innocent. How dare you say such a thing to my face? How dare you question my authority and my decision on this matter? Guards, set him on fire. Let this serve as a deterrent to anyone in this kingdom and neighboring villages that would dare challenge my authority. Have you seen the prince around? <laughs> yes, I saw him. He was heading where the cage is. Are you serious? Is a major dead? Do not. Never. Woman, you see your son? 
You see your son? I will not do anything till he comes back. Itenga. No mission. But what are we going to do now? Your Highness, I am going to comb the nook and cranny of this kingdom and make sure I find them. And as for these lazy bones, I know what to do to them. The next time we are going on an invasion, they will be at the war front. Bitten by a snake. A snake? Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's a cobra and it's very dangerous. It's very dangerous and poisonous. Do you think she will survive? No. Yes, I do. Oh, That's <laughs> This won't do. It's just to stop the poison from spreading around her body. We have to take her to the village for proper treatment. My village? No. No. We're not going back there. We're just running from there. She didn't mean your village. She meant ours. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't touch it too much. It's all right. She'll be fine. I was able to subdue the spread of the poison with these herbs. Relax. She'll be all right. Thank you so much. I would have lost her. Oh, um, if not for you girls. As for the herbs, I'm not aware of it. I don't even know about this. There's something different about you. Your code of dressing. Is this the way your people dress, or you're some kind of personality? I'm a prince of a community. My father is the king of my community. Tomodiki community. So, why were you running away with her? Mm, she's just a friend of mine. My people accused her wrongly. So my father condemned her to death. I was just trying to help. By escaping with her, it's obvious you love her so much, don't you? So tell me, who are you people? Where are you from? And what about the people of this community? Where are they?
No sign of them there. You mean you cannot find the place? Exactly. The warriors? You mean you cannot find the place and the warriors? Exactly. Mm -hmm. You mean you cannot find them? Sorry, Ochaga. We tried all we could. We searched everywhere. No sign of them. That is exactly the reason the girl should be stoned to death as soon as possible. Before she causes more trouble. She has not only succeeded in turning the prince away from the princess of Amankwa, but has also turned him against his own people. <clears throat> Iwe, what will the people think of, of my family and this kingdom if they get to hear this? I have warned my entire household to keep this thing within the family, not to let it out. You are the only person I am now talking to. He will... See, I will handle this matter and finish it without anybody smelling anything. Hmm. Did, did I make myself clear? He will. That will only be possible if that girl is gotten out of the picture all will not be well with this land while she's still alive and kicking. Trust me on this. I will do it without it. You know it. I'm only waiting for them to come back. Let the guards bring them back. Igwe, that, that, that's okay. Uh -uh. Igwe, is that not the king are coming? But he's alone. Your Highness. Greetings, Your Highness. I have searched everywhere, Your Highness. No sign of them. I think they must have gone beyond this kingdom. Ikenga, this is unacceptable. Ikenga. Your Highness. The great warrior of our land. If you, of all people, sought everywhere and did not find my son and that girl, who else will? Ikenga, you know I trust you. I rely on you. I know, Your Highness, I know. It is when there is need for a hard work that men like you are sought for. You know it. And you have never failed me. I have never failed you, Your Highness. King, please, I urge you, search beyond the territories of this village. Break every barrier. Please, bring back my son and this girl. There. Don't come back without them. Consider it done, Your Highness. <laughs> he will do it. He has to. He will do it. He has never failed. Yes. I am glad you are okay now. I've been thinking about, about my action. It was stupid. Why? I am the prince of Umudike Kingdom. Who am I running away from? My father? Or the people that were supposed to be my subjects? No. We are going back to my kingdom. I want to make it clear to my father that you are the one my heart beats for. I will make it crystal clear to everyone that I love you and you are the woman I want to marry. 
My prince, please don't scare me. Nachi, it's not obvious to you that I love you. There's this fulfillment in my heart anytime I'm close to you. Much I love you. I love you. But you know your parents will never approve of this. Those people don't count. They don't count. What counts is you and I and the feelings we have for each other. Would you please tell me you love me? Please. Please. Tell me you love me. Please tell me. I love you. Oh, you We are going back to my kingdom. It's all right. Thank you very much. You are always welcome. Thank you. Now I know your feelings. Sometimes they have to do with your destiny. Yes, now I know. These feelings has brought me to my death. Thank you so much. I owe you a lot. It's okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. I own you my life. May the gods bless you for saving my life today. I see. Thank you. It's nothing. Just take care of yourself. We'll be on our way. No? It's Thank you. Right. May the gods protect you. I will always come around. Following us. Say something. What happened? You can go. No matter how thick the forest is, an elephant cannot be lost in it without a trace. Ahana, my son, is one big elephant out there. He can never be lost. Ikenga, you are like a lion. When a lion traverses the forest, every other animal in that same forest is going to hide him. Ikenga, go and bring my son. Your Highness. Definitely you will see your son. You will. Ah! Yeah. 
There is this pear at the back of that hut. Very, very sweet. Oh, you know about the pear too? Oh, I thought I was the only one that have tested it. Mm. <laughs> of course not. You thought it's for only you. No, I have tested it. It's so, so sweet. Very sweet. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So you people have discovered this uh, pear. I thought I was the only one who knew about it. <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with Zazie? Ah, she has been like that sure. since we went to see those people. Oh, do any of you know why? I think Ugo. I know Rema should answer that question. have allowed him to live in the first place if you knew you were going to remain like this but of what use is it he's got a woman already the only thing i think i need from him is to see him often i'm not dreaming of being his woman then you will see him again he promised us that. I'm scared. He might not keep to it. Ahana, my son, my prince. You have to go to your maternal village. Your grandmother is very sick and she requests your presence. Father, I'm not going anywhere. Till I get assurance that Mwachi will be safe. But she is safe. She's safe. I've promised you that. Are you doubting your father? No, father. It's just that I don't want anything to happen to that girl. She's innocent. Ah, no. We have finalized this discussion. Unless you want us to start it all over again. We have finalized it. I've given you my word. She is safe. It's all right. I believe you, Father. All the same, um, thank you very much. I must thank you for everything. For the understanding and the love. I shall see her in the evening. Let me tell you, my son. You are still my son and I love you. Very, very much. My son, my prince. So please, you so before much. you go to see your grandma, make sure you go and see and see Wachi. I will see her right away. There's no problem. Igwe. The traditions of our people can never be violated by a common thief. Now. 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 Majesty, you ordered them to do this? Why? Don't pretend you know, don't know the offenses you are committed. Huh? She's a thief. She was caught stealing. And you know the laws of our land. The penalty for stealing is that that she must face it. <sighs> Father, you can't do this. You said you've pardoned her. Does it mean you deceived the prince? That's. What are you still doing? Take her away! My <laughs> You can't possibly do this to your son. He will never forgive you. Never. 
that poor girl is innocent. She is not innocent. She is innocent. She is not innocent. Keep quiet. Let me tell you. The entire community is looking on me for judgment on this matter. And I cannot, because of my son's misconstrued feelings, for this girl deliver a wrong judgment here now. The laws of our land forbid stealing, and the punishment for stealing is death. Father, I have spoken. Father, please. Please, 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 don't do this to your son. My people, this girl here violated the laws and traditions of our land. Yes. She was caught stealing. She will be burnt alive today. And it will serve as a deterrent for anyone in this kingdom that will steal. Anyone caught stealing will face the same fate she faces today. <laughs> My prince. Okay, Miss, everything all right? What is it? Watch. She's about to be born alive. At the village square. What? What? The Ibe ordered it. Where? Where? Gats! Stay at her place. Ibe is not still! I said I won't Alamadu Rema to join us immediately. of that thing your son your son had the effrontery to insult me before my people at the village square i will never ever take it easy with him i swear by the gods akugo go to his chambers tell him that i want to see him right now the prince is not I, I thought he went to you you mean the prince did not come back to this palace Go to where the guards are. Tell them to stop whatever they are doing and come here so that they will fetch Ikenga. And Ikenga will search for my son wherever he is and bring him back to me. Should anything happen to my son, I will never forgive you. I will never. I will never. I will never forgive you. This is where we split Umudike. Hey! 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 Go with your man. Take this route. Azoka. 
Take this root. Sight the nook and crannies. Go with your man. Okay, what? Pochiara. This way with your men. Search everywhere. Akbasi. Get to her. Follow me. Let him be. He's our friend. Sisters, this will be our settlement for now. We'll go back there and bring our people. What about the indigenous of this land? Like I said, this is our settlement. Make sure the environment is secured. You can trust me with that. Well secured. It's all right. Mama, stay with me. You told me the other time that you people are hunters. You are no hunters. You are deadly warriors. I said that because that was the world the man who raised us deceived us with. We were never raised as hunters, but as deadly warriors. Maybe he was getting us ready for a time like this. Fate made us to become like this. We are not responsible for what we do. So, why did you leave your land again? Where's the girl you were with the last time? What happened? I am terribly sorry for the death of your friend. That beautiful girl. If I'd known she was going back to your land to die, I would have allowed her to stay here with me. I never saw it coming. When we got back to my land, everything seems to be alright. How would I have known that my father was deceiving me? It seems it's a crazy world you people live in. I thought I would have peace here. I never knew the place is meant only for the strong. Is that why you people live the way you are? Do you blame us? Do you really blame us? We came here hoping to belong. Only for us to realize that this place is meant for the strong. Not for moping and droning. We have to do what we are doing for us to survive. Else, we will be consumed. Imagine what happened to that pretty girl I saw a few months back. It could have been me. It could have been any of my sisters. We have to fight for us to leave. Yes. You mean you have also heard about the girl's death? Of course I have. And it's been days now. What I do not understand is why the prince is yet to reach me. My princess. That is the problem we have now. What is it? The prince has been missing for days. How do you mean missing? He left the land as soon as he heard of the girl's death. An intensive search has been carried out for him to no avail. We have even lost some of our bravest warriors in the process. <clears throat> Tell me you are joking. How do you mean missing? They should, they should search 
very well. They should search all over the place for him. And why would the prince do something like that? Wait. Does it mean he... He loves that... That worthless thing more than myself? Was that what... Is that what it means? some fruits for you. Are you still in this mood? Stop. You're not doing yourself any good. You will harm yourself. How can I? You don't understand how I feel right now. I do. I've once lost loved ones. My mother, my only biological sister. Yes, that's the truth. My mother committed suicide because of the way my father was treating her. After that, my father hated my sister and I so, so much that he finally killed my sister. Yes, he made an attempt twice to kill me, but he didn't succeed. I wished to take my own life. How, how could I have lived without them? But finally, I have to move on. Believing and hoping that I will find happiness again. Here am I telling you the same thing. You will find happiness again. You have to move on. You don't have to continue like this. Please. I heard men don't cry. Or oh, are you a baby? <laughs> You can't. Now. The kingdom is in a turmoil. Everywhere is shaky. Our animals are dying. Our crops are withered. The streams are flowing with blood. Igwe, is this the farmer that Okata the Great foretold? I sincerely doubt. Okata told us that it was going to take some time. It cannot come so soon. Then what is happening? What is happening? I went to the farm this morning to harvest yams. I could not harvest even one piece. My daughter came back from the stream and told me that all the streams in the kingdom are now flowing with blood. Now, on my way to this place, I got news that Ibekwe's wife was delivered of a strange creature that does not even look like a human. Igwe. I have heard of famines before. And I know that it does not include animals dying, streams flowing with blood, or humans giving birth to aliens. This is abominable. Something is wrong. You are right. Of course you are right. Something is wrong somewhere. And that is why we have to send for more as soon as possible. You're right. I learned that he's back in the town. Oh, yes. Ezemo came back two days ago. Yes. Uh, is that not him? Ezemo. Oh, yeah, come back young as well. Ezemo. Ezemo. Talk to me. What is happening? What is happening? You wait. Your son is the problem. My son? What are you talking about, Ezemo? You go. Your son, the prince, his refuser to marry the princess of Amanko Kingdom has stirred up the wrath of the gods. Hmm. Anarchy will loom. Disaster. Pain. Agony. Shall fill the land. Until he marries. The princess of Amanko Kingdom, as the girls has chosen for him. Go and go and make one go and make another. That she. This boy, this boy, this boy, this boy, this boy, this boy. I know, I know, I know that his decision. 
one day come back to hunt, hunt this kingdom. Ikenga. Your Highness. Take your warriors. Go through the neighboring kingdoms. Make a pronouncement. Tell them that any kingdom found harboring my son will be answerable to me. Consider it done, Your Highness. Please go. Go and bring, that, bring back my son. Seek in our land. I am Ikenga, the Ochaya of Mutike Kingdom. We come in peace. We've been looking for our prince. Your prince? Yes. What is his name? Prince Han, the heir apparent of Mubdike Kingdom. His absence has caused a lot of confusion in the kingdom. He has been missing for a very long time. If you know his whereabouts, please lead us. Please lead us. Long live the prince. Ikenga, what are you doing here? I am here to take you back home, my prince. Never. I am not going anywhere. Turn back. Please listen to me and understand me, my prince. Zazi, take them back to wherever you bring them from. Please, Father. listen to him. There's Can nothing to listen. Please listen to me, my prince. The entire kingdom is in total confusion since your absence. We know we have wronged you. Please come back home. Your father, the king of Umudike kingdom, needs your presence. I have to go with them. My kingdom needs me. Zazi, please say something. What do you want me to say? Do you need my permission? You don't. Thank you so much for everything. I will always come around. You've been a wonderful friend to me. Take care of yourself.
real. I feel so different. Saj, I really don't know. I was only told to bring back the prince. It's all right. May the gods protect you all. I'll protect you also. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go my friends. My son, I know I wronged you. I betrayed your trust. I went too far. My love for my community and the love of my land took a better part of me. Please forgive your father. I am truly sorry I regret all my actions. Forgive me. See, I am begging you to do this for, for the love you have for your kingdom as you claim. I know you don't love the princess of Am Am Amanko. I know you don't love her. I know your heart was with the late Wachi. But circumstances did not give us any choice. Please. See, a wise man firstly asks for water to quench his thirst before asking for palm wine to enjoy himself. In this village, a lot of sacrifices has been made. A whole lot of sacrifices. Please, my son, see this one as one of the sacrifices you are making for this kingdom. Please. Let us forget what has gone by. Let us face face the future. Can I help you enter and then in later on? Go around. Please, my son, please. Please. Wama give us information. He's getting married to a princess of another kingdom. Is that what you said to me? Yes. I was able to find that he never loved the girl in question. That was why he ran away from his kingdom. But now he cannot contain the pressure on him. I get him right to her. Oh, it's 
Take it. It is enough. It is enough. What does he think he is? No, 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 no. Insulting my daughter. Unbelievable. Sacrilege. Information has it that the leader of those girls that distracted that marriage is the girl the Prince of Umudike is interested. They share something mutual. And that's why that little boy there bring disgrace of such magnitude to my family. It is now obvious that he and his father are aware of this. If not, why hasn't his father come to apologize? Or is it because they are strong? He think he can do anything he likes. No, I will not tolerate such insult. I will not at all. In short, I am out of this partnership. Even if you mean going to war, I am ready. It is what one has combated for that lasts. One does not forgo sleep because of possibilities of nightmares. Whatever it means, I'm ready for it. Instead of this continuous insult on my kingdom. Nonsense. Are you telling us that those girls I saw that very day with my two very eyes conquered Omona and Ikeduru villages? Yes, and I. They now reside in Ikeduru, and that is where the prince is held on stage. Yeah. Where are these girls from? Where do they come from? Your Highness, nobody has been able to decipher. I mean, some people say they are from the moon and some say they are the descendants of the gods. No, 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 no. It's confusing. No, 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 no. We are the only descendants of the gods. Yes. Yes. No one else is. Yes. 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 There are some group of strange daughters of men. They have come to seek death for our kingdom. And death we shall give them. Yes. We shall go to war and kill them all. You clamor for war. I will destroy you because you have not realized your mistake and you are about to commit more. <sighs> Akata the Great, you are welcome to my kingdom. Though the message in your speech bears no, 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 no good testimony about my kingdom. It's because you lost favor before the gods, caused by your own hands. Exactly what I told them. But the prince is the cause of this. No! The prince is no cause of it. You led them astray. And you are about leading them into their hellly grave. Are you advising them to go for a fight against those girls that are born with swords in their hands? No battalion of army can defeat them. No, Akata, you lie here. Akata, you lie here. Not when they face the fierceness of the warriors of my kingdom. We have never ever been defeated. And this time around, if this war will go on, we will come back victorious. You lie here. Okata, you lie here. Not when they face the fierceness of my warriors. You think am I lying? You are right, Your Highness. Things you face today is smoke produced by firewood you fetch by yourselves. You lie! You do not speak the wisdom of the gods. 
It has been long. The God spoke to you. Stop deceiving yourself and the people of this kingdom. How dare you say that to my face? Don't you fear me? I am not here to, I am not here to challenge you. But I have come to bring lasting solution to the people of this kingdom. You were send this man away. He's not ready. Send him away. <laughs> it's a moon. I, I beg to disagree with you on this one. Okata, the great Okata is a priest, wise man, respect. I beg to disagree with you on this. Okata, please, what shall we do to find lasting solution to this problem in this kingdom? Send for the princess of Amako. She is the only solution. The gods have spoken. The reason this kingdom is facing all these calamities is due to an innocent soul that was condemned to death some time ago. She was falsely accused and her spirit is angry with this kingdom. Those people behind the conspiracy, they are right here with us. I want them to step out, confess, and ask for forgiveness. Should the gods pick you out themselves, you will face their wrath. Faith. Now for the last time, if you know you conspired against an innocent poor girl that was condemned to death some time ago in this kingdom, step out now before the gods strike you dead. You're a liar. Please forgive me. I I conspired with. It's your colleague. I wanted the prince for myself. I I begged him to convince the king on why she must die. I wanted her out of the priest's life. Please mm. forgive me. Uh, father. 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 Okay. Okay, please forgive me. I'm also part of the conspiracy. Hey. 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 It is too late, my dear. You should have stepped out when I asked you to. Anna! Your Highness, that girl's spirit must be appeased for this kingdom to know peace again. Famine shall come. 
but not so soon. But your people will have to prepare for it. The gods have spoken. My son. Please, please, don't go. They bring good news. Please. Ahana, her spirit has been duly appeased, just like our cut instructed. Myself, your mother, your sister, and the entire Umudika kingdom await your arrival back home. I took the leisure of coming to tell you all this myself because I know I wronged you. The kingdom wronged you. So please, please, forgive all these wrongdoings and come back to your kingdom. I beg you, my son. I beg you, my son. Father, I will only come back home on one condition. Ask that these people will live with us as one. Eat what we eat, drink what we drink, and you will allow me, Marisa. <laughs> I will come back home. So shall it be. Sazi. Sazi. Is it okay for all of us to move over to their kingdom? Yes, mother. We are somehow vulnerable to danger in this place. People might come to this place and attack us. But if we move over to Mudike, please, we'll be sure of security and freedom. Freedom? Ah, but we are already free. Mother, we are not really free. We are not really free. Like I said, people might come here anytime and attack us. Remember, we are few in number. Hmm, we are few for sure, but we have always been invisible. I don't yes. think anyone can come here and attack us. Mother, is that what you think? Yes. You've always told us that in this part of the world, that women are born to stay under a man. That's true. Okay, let me ask. What will become of this our invisibility? If all of us marries different men from different kingdoms. Hmm. Is it not better we all move to Umudike, where we can have a home and stay together? Mothers, Zaz is right. Having one of us as a future queen of that great kingdom makes us welcome guests among them forever. And then soon enough, we'll all find different men to get married to from that land. Then we have a home. Moving there is the best thing to do. We all are going to be fine and happy there, right? Yes. You asked the right question. We'll all be fine. There will be no killing. There will be no fight. You know Modike village is a very powerful village. People dread the kingdom. I believe we'll be happy. And we'll experience peace. We'll all have the opportunity to meet our mates and meet our so we are leaving then? Sure. I can't 
can't wait to find myself a handsome man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. That will be my number one target. Uh -huh. As soon as we get there. Who? Yes, mother. <laughs> as for me, whatever that it says, so shall I do. Tread with caution, sisters. I already have one in mind. No one trespasses. Who <laughs> go? Yes. My mate, who knows what this kid has been up to behind our backs? <laughs> eh? Mother, I'm as surprised as you are. <laughs> <laughs> Mother, we are going to Modike, right? Yes. Right. Yes. If you say so. <laughs> we are in support. She's our leader. Our king. And our queen. <laughs> You're always right. Queen It's not about me. It's always right. I appreciate our efforts today and the support. Thanks so much. Even though the journey was very far, we went and conquered. I am happy and also grateful. Hope nobody was hurt. No. Not at all. Oh, is anyone hurt? No, we're fine. And you? I'm alright. I'm fine, thanks. Oh, as they did it for all. Thank you. How is it Are you all right? Why did you do that? I am sorry. But I don't even know what came over me. My heart was shattered when I heard you were getting married to another girl. Yes. I felt like I was losing something. I felt like I was losing something so dear to me. It's funny. When I think I'm losing something I never own. I've never felt like this all my life. This is the first time I'm really feeling this way. I don't know what it's called, but I know I like you and I don't want to lose you. Please. <laughs> I saw it when you did it to the girl you lost. What is it called? <clears throat> it's called love and affection. Does it mean you love me? amuses me the most is the love they have shown us so far yes they have been so kind to they us they are so nice just look at their baby <laughs> they are so <laughs> beautiful no more prettier than us i refuse to agree with you big sister eh? you people have the beauty of a goddess they look good on the child eh? yes they are beautiful <laughs> Do you know that eh? since you came into this palace as a slave, I'm eh, sorry, as a maid, this is the only day you have said something reasonable. Sure. <laughs> eh, well done, everybody. I greet you again, no more. Who is it? Eh, eh, me? 
Okay, uh, <laughs> um, I am Ezechi. I am one of the honorable uh, servants we have in this palace. Yes. You mean you are a servant? Uh, uh, yes, no. No, okay. not really a servant. But I am honorably appointed mm. to take care of women. Everything about women in this palace, more especially you people. And in a time like this, mainly in the night, I should be with you all the time. <laughs> and this my friend here. This my second here is in charge of the animals. Everything about the animals in this kingdom. Umuishi, Matono and all that shit. He took care of it's a lie. It's a lie. My bitch is nice. I'm also here for your services. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you people that uh, he's a chronic stammerer. When he was born, long tongue, that is why you can see him. He's sounding like a goat because he takes care of animals. <laughs> What are you people doing here? Your Highness, Your Majesty. Get out! Thank you, ma. We are about leaving before. Thank you, ma. Thank you, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Highness. Sorry, my daughters. I didn't permit them to bother you people, okay? No problem. They were not bothering us. They are very interesting people. Okay, no problem. Um, Zazi, I came to remind you of a certain ritual that is expected of any maiden that is married into this royal home. Okay. What is the ritual all about, ma? I don't think that is going to be a problem since you people did not grow among men. But uh, it is necessary I disclose it to you people. You see, it's a virgin ritual. The prince is bound by the tradition of this kingdom to marry a virgin. And the ritual must be carried out the night after the traditional marriage. Your Majesty, that won't be a problem. Thank you very much for informing us. You're welcome, my daughters. You're welcome. Just feel free, okay? Eh? Anything you want, just mention it. Eh? You are covered. Thank you, Your Majesty. Okay, take care of yourselves. Isichi, what's the meaning of that thing you did? Eh? And what? what? What did I do? We are asking, what did I do? Hmm? What did I do? Who assigned you to the warrior princesses? Yes. Eh? Huh. Oh, is that your problem? Is that why you people are dancing, dancing like this? Anyway, nobody assigned me. I assigned myself. Why? Can't you see I'm in love? Ah, I what? In love? Can't you see those maidens? Can't you see how beautiful they are? Mm. These people are from the moon these people are from the moon they are so special they are undefined can't you see that ha! please let nobody go close to them in fact i want to marry one of them what uh, yes but you said you married from amanko that was before Hey. But the moment I set my eyes on these girls, I changed my mind. Huh? I am going to marry one of them and nobody will stop me. Hey. Can't you people reason with me? Hmm. Who will see a fresh pan wine and settle for overnight? Eh? I must marry those, one of those girls. And when I do, if I finally marry them, all these useless warriors around this palace that have been harassing, harassing me all over, they will all bow to me. And when they bow <laughs> to me, they will call me Igwe. <laughs> <laughs> Is it you are insane? Eh? Is it you? Let me see you move close to those warrior princesses and see if they will not eat you up. Yes. What would that? You are insulting me. Why won't I insult you? Look at your old mouth. Is it you? Is it you are insulting me? You are insulting me. You're laughing. Eh? Leave this girl alone, please. See, let me tell you, I am praying to the gods to allow me to marry these girls. Yeah. And when I finally marry one of them, all these stupid, useless, hopeless warriors that harasses me around this palace, mm. they will all bow to me. <laughs> if they don't bow to me, you will call me a fool. <laughs> hey, Zechi, <laughs> you are dreaming. Go. <laughs> so, that's right. You want to marry them? Okay. <laughs> For security? Yes. <laughs> 
You are mad. <laughs> In fact, he is stupid. You are dreaming. I'm not talking about you. Are dreaming. I'm not talking about you. Peter Nora. I'm not talking about you. 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 Angry God. Look at their big, 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 big asses. Mother. You haven't gone to bed yet. No. I'm not a kid that sleeps early. <laughs> the day is still young. You're so funny. By the way, what are you doing out here? Uh, nothing. I'm just receiving fresh air. Okay. Yes, I have something for you. Really? From wine. You will like it. Is there something on my face? No. Just that you're so beautiful. What? Did I say anything bad? No, 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 no. You didn't. Just that no one has ever said that to me. Hmm, really? Yeah, you're so beautiful. You all are so beautiful. I wonder where you got your beauty from. And you are the most beautiful among them. Do you mean that? Yes. I think you're handsome too. Really? Did you hear what the Queen Mother said? Of course I did. Of course you did. So you, you already know what the problem is and here you are asking me what the problem is. You know the truth as well as I do. I know. Zazi, I know. But you don't have to look tense. If you do, they will soon dictate something is wrong somewhere. Really? But the truth is, Pretending will not change the reality. It won't. Listen, I am scared. I am so scared. I don't want to lose the prince. I am scared. I don't know what to do. You will not lose the prince. Zazi, you will not lose the prince. I promise you. Listen, I don't know how this is going to end. But please be confident. Listen to me, listen to me, just calm down, please. I know you're wondering how. I made it possible. 
It is a minute possible. I gave you my virginity because of what you did for me in the past. It is. You and I know you're lying. The prince said it to cover up for you. I'm not lying, I'm telling you the truth. How possible is that? I was wondering how to. But until what she had yet to me and told me she was the one that made it possible. How? <gasps> it's what I don't know. She told me to take care of him, that I should love him. <sighs>